start by settling into a beautiful, relaxing breath pattern. Long inhales. Even longer exhales. Hands away. Live. Happy to be here. First thing. As we're continuing to take these deep breaths, we'll connect with a simple intention. The idea that we're playing with today comes from a quote. The quote more or less went something like this. Unless you're improving upon the silence, there's no need to break the silence. Something like that. And so the idea is really thinking about the words that you use ahead of time. Thinking through the filters, is it helpful? Is it kind? Is it necessary? And I was thinking about that in relation to our bodies. So rather than the words we speak, maybe the way that we approach the different positions that we put our body in and kind of running it through that filter as well. Is moving from this position, or in other words, is breaking the stillness the highest good? Does it improve upon the stillness? If not, just hold your beautiful shape. Let your body relax into it even deeper. If it does improve upon it, you're welcome to go deeper or whatever the particular position is. So that's going to be the idea that we're playing with today. So that means that we'll be holding some of our stretches a little bit longer than sometimes we might. Some, some stretches might be a full minute, maybe a little longer. Some of the inversions holding it in stillness as long as we're not improving upon the stillness by shifting anything. And so just always run that question through the mind. It reminds us to really check in with the body, to really ask it how it's doing at this moment before we just shift on be because. So with that idea to help lead us on, let's take some of our initial stretches. Arm stretch all the way to that back wall. Take an inhale. Exhale, let the shoulders lean partly to one side like a moon, a crescent moon shape. Inhale back to long line. Exhale, crescent moon shape to the other side. And go through a few breaths like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more round to each side. And back to that long stretching back shape. Let the right knee come into the chest. Try to invite the knee in as close to shoulder as it's going to go right now. And if it improves upon the stillness, perhaps the right ankle does some rolls. You circle the toes around as big as they can. spot to be in. If it improves upon the stillness, start to extend the leg up to sky for a hamstring stretch. Grab onto the foot or the calf. Try to invite the heel to continue to lift up until the hamstrings are in a really good deep sensation. deeper. 
and if it improves upon the stillness again we'll take a hip stretch so the right heel hooks all the way to the back left and the end that's by where our head is and then slide the shin in you need to kick at me you can see how that heel hook goes so essentially it's setting up it up like a figure four stretch slide the shin in as deep as it takes for the hip to be gently opening Let the breath flow you've been full trying to relax through the hip rather than tensing Huge inhale. As that soul starts to release this leg, maybe it's set up to sky one more moment. Drop it down. Left knee comes into chest. Start to hug that side in. And if it improves upon the stillness, maybe some big toe circles. Ready, move up to hamstring stretch, like extending to sky, grab on where you can reach. upon the stillness the heel continues to lift just a few more breaths and then invite the hamstrings just a little deeper Ready, heading to that figure four stretch, looking left heel to back right. extension of leg up to sky and let it drop all the way down. We'll take just a few breaths in a back bend so you don't have to go super deep but you start to sit up just a little bit so that the fabric can start to fall down maybe to the armpit level that would be the easiest back bend maybe to as deep as the middle of the waist but the further down it goes, the deeper it is. You breathe through the hands, and then you start sliding the head backwards. If you release hands, it goes deep to your choice. Be just two or three more breaths right here. And 
Whenever it improves upon stillness, to slowly roll the head up. We'll come to a seated place, and then the arms will stretch forward toward the toes. The hadas a counter stretch for the whole spine. Now the back of the spine is getting to be in, slightly in the stretch, the back of the neck. It's natural for the knees to be bent because of how the hips are the heaviest point of the fabric. But if it improves upon the stillness and if you do want it to go a little deeper, you have the option to try to straighten at the knee joint just a little bit more. Sometimes here, I'll take a few moments to roll the head slightly to the left shoulder and slightly to the right shoulder. Again, only if it improves upon the stillness. for a spinal twist. So the right hand hooks to the left foot or ankle or calf, whatever you can reach easily. Right hand hooks on left. And then left hand is free to circle up and then stretch all the way back. So the general shape here is I'm trying to straighten the left leg. The right knee can be a little bit bent. That just helps that outer hip of the left leg. And this is a spot where if just holding the twist, that stillness is the best place for you right now, just stay. Only if it improves upon the stillness for the shoulder to have the arm move up and forward and then up and back, tracing kind of semicircles. You're welcome to take that. Either way, we'll be in stillness or in that gentle motion for a few more breaths. Okay, let's return left arm forward. When we're facing forward, start to switch the legs out. So we're hooking the hand onto right, left hand onto right leg. The right leg is straightening out. The left can be a little bit bent with the leg. And when that's set up, right arm traces up to go back. Maybe your spine just wants to stay in the twist. And if it improves upon the stillness, you can trace those semicircles, helping to warm up that shoulder. One more breath wherever we're at. Exhale, finishing up, we start to release the arm forward. Take the feet up the front. And here we'll invert, we'll listen to our body. For the inversion, we bring the hands to the back end. Our thumbs hook onto the fabric. We help to push the fabric down to about where the pant line is. So it's a little bit above the hips. Lean halfway back, fabric and hips. <clears throat> and the hands are back on once you lean back. Good. Wide length, as you tilt upside down, that keeps us from falling out. And once your head is pretty much upside down, you wrap the legs around each side. That wrap gets us totally locked in. Uh, 
good. So once you, once each heel is hooked around, you can release the hands if that feels good. And here's just a spot to enjoy stillness as long as it, it's helpful for the body. You can have some options if it improves upon stillness, such as twisting the body here, one hand walking to the top of the mat, one hand to the back of the mat, loosening up the neck, just anything that improves upon stillness is welcome. Anything that's intense or when your body just knows to come out, that's also perfectly fine. Sometimes when you know it's time to be up, it, there's a floating child pose where you just hook the elbows and lean forward for a time. That gives the head a chance to flip the blood pressure back around. So if that's nice, take it. Maybe some neck rolls, getting some of that tension out again. <laughs> No need to rush on if the body still needs a little bit more recovery time. Just stay here if you need that time. When you get to the point where body's good, you think it's safe to move on, to stand, you'll grip each side, briefly lift up the legs, and then just tilt forward to exit. Fabric out in front of us. We'll grip onto the fabric a little bit wider than the shoulders. And take some time just leaning forward nice. Yes, it's a water always good. <laughs> So sometimes it's really nice for the back to just stay in stillness. Other days, swaying a little bit left and right improves upon that stillness. So take whatever is helpful here.
Slowly roll the head up. Step the right foot forward. Maybe the left foot back a little bit. You're trying to get a good distance where both heels can be flat. It's not too wide. And start to sink directly forward to pyramid pose. Only if it improves upon the stillness, the ball of that right foot can lift up. That could jam the heel into the ground, so if it doesn't feel good, just bring it right back. Enjoy the calf stretch if that felt good. Ball of foot drops if it's lifted. Rotate the heels. You're facing toward the long. Left edge of that. Take the toes back forward. Once you're forward, bend the right elbow to put down to the ground. And then the left arm sways over a little bit to the right. Straighten both arms forward, slight bend of the knees, roll the head up, and switch the feet out so it's the same distance. Start to lean directly forward. If you did that on the first side, lift up the ball of foot. If not, just relax right where you're at. Let's turn to the right long edge, move to that side. Toes turn back forward, left elbow points down to ground. The right arm sways up and over to the left. Turn both arms forward, bend the knees, roll up. And step feet together. We're standing just slightly behind the line. From here, right, uh, right thigh comes inside of the back. <clears throat> the hands come up so that way we don't feel like we have to have super a lot of pressure after that last pose. But the hands are up. Start to sink the weight forward. As you drop the back heel down, maybe you're in a good calf stretch for that back heel, or perhaps you're feeling it more in the psoas, the front of that left hip. If you grip up and lean back, that's more of a back bend, or you can let the head go through and just lean forward. Take the version that improves upon stillness. Sending the head through the center. If you're not there, we're still sinking forward for a moment. Release the hands. Try to grab from the ankle or the toes. Try to let that right leg extend forward. 
This has a little bit of a pressure massage on the hamstring at the same time that we're stretching it. So that'll be helpful in just a moment to help loosen up that hamstring. Good, release the leg, find the hands on the fabric to help us come back. And slip fabric to the ankle. So from here, we'll move into a hamstring stretch. Either slide the hands down to lean forward or slide the hands up to take more of a split. So it's either more of like a piston or a split action. over your standing leg. Both hands grab to left. As we turn the standing toes to the left, we bump the left hand up, the right hand down. Start to feel the side ribs opening. Stay here, or if it improves upon the stillness, sink a little bit more weight forward like a side step. Weight comes back over the center, slide the fabric back to the thigh. Both hands can go to the left one again, sink the weight forward for your two. Option to open the arms if it feels good. So I'm just with that massage again. If it's too much, you can spread out the surface area. Stretching nicely. And then the fabric in front of us, take the weight back over standing leg, treat pose, the right foot to the left inner thigh. So you can use the fabric for balance. And just take the hands to the heart. Sometimes because the fabric's here, it's easy to close the eyes with this one. So if so, take a kind of a snapshot of the room, then try to hold that mental picture of the room as you close your eyes. I mean, this quality of inner stillness, inner peace, inner silence. Opening the eyes, we're going to straddle the fabric, so continue to step all the way through. Your hands behind you will try to find more or less the center, and then you're spreading that out as you sit back into it so that you can bring the fabric to each, all the way down each thigh. So from here, you're going to take the right ankle and then swing it up onto the front of the fabric that's directly in here. <laughs> yeah, if it didn't in quite the right spot, just, just get, yeah. get your spot. You know how to get there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is intense on that right hip. If you want to make it a little easier, you'll push into the fabric. That takes some of the the quality of hugging it in tight, it takes some of that away. 
or alternatively, if you want to go deeper, hug around this unit and pull it your heart in a little bit. Try to encourage the muscles to relax rather than to tense. you know to just stay with the hip a little bit longer. If you'd like to move up to hamstring, bunch up the fabric in front of you. Place the right foot on the arch of the foot on the gathered fabric and start to slide that right foot up. Same thing as before, continuing to push into the fabric makes it easier on the hamstring. If you're at the point where the leg's all the way straight and you want to go deeper, you can start to release some of that tension of the arms. So just find the quality that's perfect today. Drop this right leg down. Left ankle shin area comes up. Stretch first. or move into the hamstring, the arch of the foot comes up and then start to slide up to the extent that the hamstring will still allow. As this leg drops down, drop it to the right side so that way we're get both legs together. Squeeze forward with your hips. We're going to tilt out of the fabric for just a moment so that we readjust, just getting enough fabric under our glutes to cover our thighs once, not a bunch of extra. So find the back end of the fabric. And you might have to pop out and do it again. I think it might be folded out over. So you'll need all the extra that you can get. Yeah, maybe wave it out for just a second so you know you have the end. Good. Yep, that'll work. Set right there. Okay, once you have, once you're in, you have all this extra, you're gonna bring it through the center over your head. And then you're gonna get each of your heels into that part of the fabric and take a nice forward fold.
relaxes. Both hamstrings are now in the stretch. Adjust the pose a little bit so that the back now gets kind of a that pulling motion on it, not the lengthening in the spine. So sometimes this is a funky transition. So kind of the easiest way to do this is step one foot to the floor, and then you'll slide the fabric to like where the elbows can hold you up before you step the foot back in. But you can also do it just by kind of gently sliding yourself down. So elbows in, or sometimes I'll even just slide it to just the shoulder blades in, and then my arms slide up. But basically, you're freeing up the glutes to hang. And then once you're there, don't have abdominal muscles contracting to hold you curled in. Instead, try to release the weight of the hips down as far to gravity. Sooner or later, it'll improve upon the stillness to lay on the floor. So when your body gets to that point, drop a foot down, slowly lower glutes to floor. Keep a hold of the part that was behind your back because the foot that you drop down will now go into that. Picking up bridge pose, the hands are on the floor by the hips. Push the heels into the fabric to lift the hips up. Stay lifted. Feel the back muscles strengthening now. Five times, we're slowly going to open the legs out as wide as they can get here. Then slowly release that back together. And we four. Three, two, one. Lower the hips to floor. Bring the feet out. Hug the knees into the chest for a moment. Drop gently. the fabric to help us stand. So kind of roll up, grab the fabric. I like to grip nice and high. Either just straight come up, or if you'd like a bonus back bend, lift the hips up, the head rocks up for a moment, the pose, and then arm straight pulls us up. Good. Once you're there, left side moves all the way down. Yeah, a little sip of water is also nice. So left thigh in, hands slide up, sink the hips forward. Back heel perhaps drops down for calf, or perhaps just sinking forward for psoas. You have the options if you wanted the back bend, slide the hands up, arch the heart forward. If you just want to lean the head through, that's also beautiful. Leaning through, let's start to free out the hands, try to grab onto the leg and see how much it will extend forward. Waking up those hamstrings, preparing for the stretch, 
we're about to receive. Find the hands, push them through the center to roll up. Slip to the ankle. So piston is just hand sliding down, lean forward. Splits as hand sliding up, the whole weight going forward like splits. Rolling the spine up, grip on right. Standing toes turn to the right. On the right side, right hand slides up, left hand down. Either just open the side ribs here, or if it improves upon stillness, sink forward. over the standing leg, torso rises up, slip fabric to the thigh, you can spread out the surface area if needed. Taking the warrior two, sink the weight forward, maybe to open the arms, resting the tricep on the front part, the front fabric. Return. The weight comes over standing leg, left foot to right inner thigh. Maybe use the fabric for balance, maybe hands to the heart. Option to take a mental snapshot of snapshot of the room and close the eyes, trying to hold that. Finding that inner stillness, inner peace, inner silence. As the eyes open, we'll try to approach the same way. So step the left foot all the way through the front. Use the hands to try to find the center. Sit back. Slide the fabric to the sides. And this time the stretch that we're going for is both feet into the fabric in front of us. So I like to take the right mm -hmm. hand to just push at the fabric in front of my face that holds the place for where the feet are going to be. So then the left foot would come up where the hand is. And once you have the left foot up, it's easy to bring the right next to it. So both feet come to that center spot in front of your face. Once the feet are up, try to slide the legs upward as much as they'll go for that double hamstring stretch. The forward fold like a little taco. Similar to before, pushing the heels or the hands into the fabric in front of you makes it easier. Trying to relax away from that, even let the fabric fold you in tighter. That's what makes it. You choose the intensity for the hamstrings.
hamstrings are your tight area. You just know to stay in stillness here, that's fine. If it improves upon the stillness, we'll slide the cobbler, put the bottoms of feet together, the knees open to each side. You choose how close the heels slide into the pelvis. Guiding the class toward one last inversion. This is vampire pose. If you're here and your body is just loving it, remember you can stay with the theme of the whole class and just stay with the stillness right here. No need to move, no need to adjust. So only if one more inversion today will improve the stillness and start to send both feet forward. Shift the hips to face forward. Beautiful, and it looks like we're in stillness today. Nothing wrong with that. So this is absolutely fine for this to be our Shavasana today. We're about that point in class, more or less, where we would just sit and enjoy our time, let the body integrate all the benefits of class, if at any point you prefer to shift to the normal Shavasana, just laying all the way down, you can shift the feet forward and lay back. But again, if this is the place that feels perfect for the body today, no need to shift away.
Inhale. Exhale. Just movement back to the body. We'll stretch the arms to the back. It takes some of the stretches we started with. The shoulders left and right, for instance. Sometimes people will do a fetal position. It might be long, but you roll one hip to stack on top of the other hip. We're in that fetal position. Curl in, arc back. Maybe three or four times on the first side. Switch to the second side. Equal amount. Or later, when the body's happy, we'll start to rise up to the seated position. <clears throat> and then at the heart. Connecting to the idea that we played with today. Remembering that as we go forward, whether we're playing with silence or with stillness, it's okay to just revel in that silence or stillness, knowing that we only need to shift out of that if it improves upon the silence or improves upon the stillness. So with this idea to help lead us forward, let's wrap up the time we shared together with the sound of oh, deep in how now. Oh. May be filled with light, happiness, and peace. Namaste.